The Indian's respect is understandable. Everything about this spider is formidable. It has eight eyes, fangs two centimeters long, and legs which can comfortably span a dinner plate. It hunts on the ground, mostly at night. During the day, it holds up beneath the forest floor, often taking over disused rodent burrows. The giant tarantula isn't the only fearsome creature to inhabit these parts. The fer de lance is one of the most venomous snakes in South America. Its poison causes paralysis, swiftly followed by the breakdown of the living tissue. Its immobilized victims suffer an agonizing death, then slowly dissolve from the inside out. The local remedy for this snake's bite is to amputate the affected limb immediately. Although the fer de lance will attack humans in self-defense, it usually preys on rodents, occasionally cornering them underground. It's obviously looking for food. But there's no mere mouse down this burrow. The giant tarantula has the largest venom glands of any spider. There are no authenticated reports of anyone being bitten by one. Perhaps no one has lived to tell the tale. So no one knows just how venomous it is. Even so, the odds against a fight with a fer de lance seem stacked against the spider. In just four minutes, the snake twitches its tail for the last time. Giant tarantulas produce copious amounts of venom, curiously similar in effect to that of the snake and also causing tissue breakdown. As its victim slowly disintegrates, the spider sucks up the nutritious fluids through small mouth parts hidden beneath its fangs. Even the snake's backbone, already stripped of flesh, will eventually be partially digested and devoured. A once deadly fang dangles limp and impotent. After 17 hours, all that remains of a formerly lethal snake is its shriveled skin. <laughs> <laughs> 